Hi guys, welcome to So Janelle. I'm your host Janelle So coming to you today from Southern California but bringing you stories from Washington DC, the nation's capital. If you will remember last week, we were there. Uh, in fact, we even showed you the backstory of a so local hub called Purple Patch uh, in Washington DC, which is a Filipino American restaurant. I tell you, it has become, uh, it has been frequented by Filipino Americans there, but at the same time by non-Filipino Americans, and it's a must visit place for tourists like myself. I know that I've been there a few times, uh, but I know that I will keep going back Purple Patch. You know, the food is amazing, the ambiance, the place, everything is great and perfect. And even the presentation of the food, very colorful, very nice, it's impeccable. And I know that you don't have to take my word for it. You're gonna see for yourself later on as we bring you the continuation of our interview with chef, owner, and founder, Patrice Cleary. That's a day on the show. But before that, we'd like to open today with the reason why I was in Washington, D.C. last week at the invitation of NAFA for their 25th annual Filipino American History Month reception. It was attended by no less than the highest ranking Filipina member of the Biden administration, the Honorable Nani Coloretti, and of course, our very own as well, Honorable uh, Gina Ortiz Jones. They gave speeches. It was just inspiring to listen to them. But to NAFA's credit, Chairman Brendan Flores and President Mariela Fletcher, they also uh, had a surprise for me, which was very heartwarming. Here's what happened during that evening. Good evening and happy Filipino American History Month. And thank you for taking the time out of your very busy schedule to be here um, celebrating with us in our nation's capital. So this year, uh, Filipino American History Month's theme is past, present, and future. So when I was called as a national chair of NAFA, um, I always used the phrase, let's make history and continue to write our story. Writing is not just an idea. It is an action that results in leaving a mark or difference that stands the test of time and serves as a symbol for all those who will read and learn about it. So with that in mind, how have we written our Filipino American history? It's a good time to be Filipino. It's been for years now. And today we also have the highest ranking Filipino American in the Biden organization, who is representing very well here in Washington, DC for all the Filipinos. Being a Filipina and being part of this wonderful and vibrant community, it has and it will continue to have a profound influence on my life and my work. And I think that's why celebrating this month is so, so important. It's a gift to share history and individual stories of Filipino Americans. These are some of the most interesting and fascinating people I know in my lifetime, just from when I was born to now. So this is a month, it's a good time to consider how can we continue the traditions of service and education and compassion and ask ourselves, how can I help others? What contributions can I make that will enrich our country and future generations? And many of you here tonight, like my grandmother and my mom, you've been doing this for a long time. You've been doing it all along. So you paved the way for people like me so that I could stand on your shoulders and so that I could succeed. And so for that, I want to say salamat po. My mom, a UP Dilliman graduate, said, you know what? I'm going to go. I'm going to take your spot. So a UP Dilliman graduate came here as a domestic helper, again, so inspired uh, by what she didn't know what she was signing up for, but so inspired uh, by the American dream and what that would mean for her and what people know. If they come to this country willing to work hard, the sky's the limit. And so y'all, it's a very special country where somebody who, the daughter of somebody who came here as a domestic helper, the daughter of someone who came here as part of the steward program can ultimately serve as the 27th Undersecretary of the Air Force. That's such a special country uh, in this world right now. I think it's really important, it's really important that when we are in the room, when we are at the table, we take up the space. We take up the space. We are there for a reason. Absolutely. 
there for a reason, and we're there to frankly do our part. Somebody paved the rate, the way, as Nani said, for us to, to to be where we are, and now it's on us to make sure that the next generation can similarly thrive, can similarly serve, uh, in an amazing, amazing administration like this, and can similarly lead. Your leadership here in this room counts a lot. You are our future. Let's strengthen our relationships. Let's be relevant, and let's represent. I challenge you with love and continue the work in NAFA for our Filipino American community. Happy Filipino American History Month. Maraming salamat po. <clears throat>